In this video I want to have a look at Amazon links and inserting affiliate links into posts in WordPress and making those links um, open up in a new tab when somebody clicks them rather than opening up in the same window which then removes your site and loads Amazon instead. And There are a couple of different ways you can get links from Amazon. You can log into your Amazon dashboard and once you're in there you have access to uh, links and banners over here. You can have product links, banners, um, you can link to any individual page, for example, let's just go over and I'll just do a search for one of my books. Okay, WordPress SEO, oops, slipping down the rankings there. Let's click on there. If I copy the page, I can go down here, paste in the URL, put a name for my link, and it gives me the code. Okay, that's one way you can do it. I can highlight the code. This is what it looks like. I can test the link here opening in this window and it opens to the correct page. Um, I can copy the HTML, Hi click the highlight button, right click, copy, or just press Control C on a Windows, I think it's Command C on Mac, and that will copy the code ready to paste into your post. And I've already got a post here ready. But before we do that, let me just show you another way you can insert a product link. If you want to link to a specific product, if you log into your um, affiliate account over at Amazon and then you go to the Amazon.com website, you'll see this bar at the top of your browser, or you should do. I don't think I've uh, deliberately enabled this. It just appears at the top of my browser when I'm logged into Amazon. And there's a button here linked to this page, which if you click you get this dialog box opening and you can specify the tracking ID, you can have um, the link like this with image and some text, or have text only or image only. Okay, there's the text only link, this one. Now it doesn't really matter how you grab your link. Let's, for the sake of it, let's grab this one here and highlight the HTML. It doesn't matter whether you go directly to the Amazon website or you go into the Amazon Associate program. It's all, all the same. You increase, you, you basically create your post, and this is the post where I'm going to insert this. And then you need to click over onto the text tab, and wherever you want to insert the link, you just basically put your cursor. And I want to insert it just here, and then I can right-click, paste, or Control V, Command V, I think on a on a Mac, and that's inserted the Amazon link. And if I publish that. And then we go and view the post. You can see that the link is here. And if I click on it, it actually opens in the same window. So to get it to open in a different window, all you need to do is just click anywhere on the link and then go up and click the link button. And you'll see this box there open in a new window. Let's update, update the post. You can open this in a new window so we can have a look. Scroll down, here's the link, and now it's opened in a new window, and there's my original page there. Now, you may actually want to also include an image of the book here. I don't recommend you right-click and copy image and, and try to insert the image directly from Amazon. What I suggest you do is save the image to your hard drive. In fact, I'm going to do a screen capture of the image and I'll show you. In fact, I'm going to do that again and include the look inside bit as well. And I'm using Snagit, but you can see I've got this little hand there, so I need to do it again. Okay, now there's my image. I'm going to just save it. Okay, I just saved that as a JPEG. And close my screen capture program. I can go back to my post. I'm going to insert the image above. I'm just going to go to Media Library, Upload Files, Select File, and I can just double click the image. I'm going to center the image. Now you can have that image linked to the media file. If, if you leave it linked to the media file, then if somebody clicks it, it basically opens up the image in the new browser window. 
or you can link it to none, which means it's not clickable. The other alternative you could do is you could say link it to a custom URL. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to link it to a custom URL, and now it's inserted there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link the image to the Amazon affiliate URL. So this link here already links to Amazon through the affiliate URL. So I'm going to just click anywhere in that link, go back up to the link button, right click, copy that. I don't need to update because I haven't changed anything. And then just click on the image, go up to the link button again, paste, and you can see that link is now added. You can update. In fact, one thing I want to do, I think, is I'll just central align this text as well, this link. So just click on the link anywhere in the link, click on the central, update again, and then we can go over and I can refresh this page once it's saved. It's still saving there, so it may not be ready yet. Let's have a look. Just refresh that again, but it's still saving it. Okay, now it's saved. Let's go back and refresh. And you can see now that the book and the link underneath, see the little, fi the little finger? That means it's a hyperlink. If I click on that, you can see that opens as well to the Amazon website in a new window. So that's how you add Amazon links. I should just say while we're here that this link feature is quite powerful because if you have pages on your site you want to link to, let's say for example I wanted to link this to one of the other pages on my site, if you click the link, what happens is it actually lists the posts on your website and you can search for one. So if I wanted to do link it to something, um, an article of mine on custom sidebars, I could just type sidebar, search for it, select it, click on add and you can see now that link has now been added. I don't want to keep that link, so I'm going to remove it. And you can remove a link easily enough by clicking on that broken link button there, and the link remo is removed. You can also click on an image, remove the link from there as well, in exactly the same way to click on the broken link. And that's all there is to it.